You're affecting my mother's perception of reality. <laughs> hey, Mord, thanks for the prime. All right, let's try a little bit of Death Knight, see what's going on with this class. By a single purpose. Uh, is that right? Is this right? What's everybody? Graham, Essie, Redbeard, Smelly, Starzy, Go Kings, am I right? All right, let's take the Possessifier. He's he's strong. Um, just cycle? Class cards, it's unbelievable. Uh, I guess I'll take a Dank Transformation. I think the stars are going to win, maybe. I hope that the kings win. Now that we have $17,000 on the line, legally. Alright, let's take this. Uh, body bagger, the five? I like them both. Let's take the five, though. Red equals the hair monster from Looney Tunes. I can see it. Uh, I don't hate Flesh Behemoth. We have uh, one good undead already. The other card sucks, I'm sure. Oh man, we spoke too soon with these class cards. Hey, hey, gesticulate. How are you? I'm good, Aaron. How are you? Looks like a battle master. Well, well, welly, well, well. Wait, that Frostmorn card's pretty good. Uh, Blightfang is pretty good too. Um, a buffed Blightfang. Can you imagine this weak card came out as a 2 4? I really feel like uh, a 3 3, sorry. Uh, uh, Frostmorn just feels nutty though, no? I really like this card. Actual Death Knight legendaries, yeah, that's crazy too. I know 17,000 is nothing to you, but I am a lowly civil servant. <laughs> okay, 17,000 is a lot of money. I usually get my X and Fugin, me too. Let's take Frostmourne. Uh, let's take Acolyte. I'm down for an Acolyte. And do I want the Harbinger of Winter? We will turn off double red. And I have no frost spells currently. Um, that's a that's a tough one. Two mana two two potentially don't doesn't even draw a card. I'm gonna take the one, and I will take a body bagger here. Got another one of these. Got another one of those. I think this card's okay. I don't understand why Blizzard. I don't understand Blizzard. Every time I get legendary in my DK drafts, what did they do? I don't understand either. Okay, these aren't uh, good. If your deck has no, <laughs> if your deck has no four cost cards, this is uh, this is what Tiberius is get, uh, is used to. <laughs> um, if your deck has no four cost cards, gain life steal and <laughs> taunt. I think if that card was a four mana four four life steal taunt, I don't think I would take it. I don't think I'd be happy to take it. Oh, fuck me. I'm a pirate. You're like a strange infusion of a pirate. No. So is it just Lotheb, which feels bad, but it's probably not like unplayably bad. Is that good back in the day? No, no, absolutely not. No. Okay, so we can take a Soul Breaker, which is a good card, our second weapon. We can take an Armor, or we can take a Stitched Giant for each corpse you've spent. And currently, currently we have no way to spend any corpses. It's a good Undead though. The pick is probably Armor, it's just so boring. That, like, all these picks are... <laughs> the best pick is not the Death Knight cards. You got two legendaries right now, right now, like I said. Am I the only one seeing this? No, you're not. All the times have changed. If you thought your whole curve... You throw your whole curve for that card. I don't think that card was ever good in Arena. I'll just do this. Um, I, I guess I'll, I'll commit to uh, our, our class card for this one. It's a way to spend corpses. Uh, sure, Bloodworm. I mean, this deck is looking like it could use two Malignant Horrors and be in a pretty good spot. Uh, I don't hate Shallow Gravedigger. I think it's better than an inactive Amber Welt, right? I remember the two mana Prince Kelseth was considered the best card in the game. It was a strong constructed card. I actually had that card yesterday. It was kind of fun. Uh, I guess we're taking a dragon here. Naga and a pirate, but only one weapon. Just a two drop is fine. Heart Strike? Man, I don't really love Heart Strike, but I guess it's okay. Let's just take one, hopefully. Uh, these are trash. Do we ever take Arms Dealer? You have a fair amount of undead. This is kind of whatever. Let, let's take it. Three legendaries? Uh, I think Kel'Thuzad is better than Thassarian. Wow, triple legendary. That's kind of cool. 
It was a good card because it gave you deck plus 25, 25. It was different than getting Taunt and understated minion. <laughs> yeah. And then in uh, Constructed, you could just run like, you know, 10 ones, like 10 threes, one, two, and then a couple other cards or whatever. 12 wins. I would love to trade every card in my deck for a Malignant Horror, but there's still time. Uh, Necrolite's very good. I do like Skulker too, but let's take that one. We'll take a Swarm Guard, which is also fine. That Kel Golden looks good. Yeah, he really does. Uh, okay, Necromancer, good. Once we get our triple Malignant Horror. Uh, this card is very good. This card's good too. I, I don't think it's as good as Sentinel though. Another Acolyte over a Bone Breaker for me. Uh, still time to get three Malignant Horrors. Third period starting. See you after the game. Good luck. Bad luck to you with respect to our wager. <laughs> hey, good luck. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. A uh, Brewmaster or a Racketeer? What am I brewing? Body Bagger? The buff card, maybe? This guy's an okay uh, brew. Uh, sure. Plus it's just a two, right? Imagine getting 30 horrors and playing against poor opponents. <laughs> That'd be great. Ooh, Panda. That's fun. All right, so one pick. Uh, I feel like a lot of the time I get a Malignant Horror last pick. Not this time. Uh, I, somebody finally noticed. <laughs> how are you, Charles? Thank you for the tier two sub. Uh, how's, how did Dredd's um, pirate game go? I was watching him play with Hogger very, very slowly. Uh, he got fourth. He probably could have got more stats purchasing things. All right, let's get a bet going. Start prediction. How many wins? The time has come for your reign to end. A hand worth keeping, maybe. How many wins? Uh, let's set it for five minutes. I was uh, washing part of my face and I got my hat wet and it doesn't feel comfortable. Uh, let's get the deck tracker up. Breathe it in. Um. Yeah, me. Maybe next that. turn. Uh, deck tracker. HDT. Reach for the skies. Uh, hits there. Okay. Is Gamma activated? Yeah. Hola, Mr. Bear. No malignant unplayable. Shake my head. Deck is much better with two malignant horrors, but maybe we'll uh, avoid all the malignant horrors ourselves. And we'll be in an okay spot in that regard. You never know. The anger and anxiety I have watching him play is what it would be like for you to watch me play arena poorly. Um, I don't get too angry when I uh, when I watch other people play arena who don't really aren't very proficient at it. What happens sometimes is I, I will get I will get uh, flabbergasted. <laughs> More flabbergasted than anything. And then what will happen is, it seems like anytime somebody is, is bad at Arena, they'll get offered the nuttiest deck, and then they'll pass it. <laughs> pass most of it. And that sometimes has an effect on me. Mentally. Mind if I roll me? I don't really know what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm putting a lot of stats on the board, and that's okay, right? I'll also Paladin. Who coined Prince Liam on four, which transformed ten cards, and he got an Astalor, Shaw, and a Tyrion. Wow, fun. I like that card. Prince Liam. It's really bad. <laughs> but it's fun. Alright, what's he brewing back? The buffing thing? Sure. Now is he playing it again here? Do I care about that? Hey, give me that! I can be very persuasive. Uh, how many more do I have? These aren't undead, right? So we'll probably try to do something with this soon. I hope he has fun, your opponent. Yeah, hopefully the rest of their games go go similarly. We can only hope. A 
card is stupid. This one? Yeah, this card's pretty dumb. I can use that to kill. I could play this. Hero power, I guess. And you can't hero power them both. Right? Are you wearing the hat lower and lower, he asked me. What a ridiculous question. Oh, fuck. That's pretty good. Much, but it's honest work. Uh, so something in there is buffed out of his mind, huh? I can trade there. Oh, seems like a mistake. Strike! Then strike harder! Um, six, nine, twelve. I guess I'm still. I guess I'm hero powering. But I suppose I'm just throwing that face. What was that? That was a mistake, I think. I think, but I'll take it. Nice deck. Uh, needs a couple malignant horrors for sure. But... could change it, but it doesn't do me a ton of good, I don't think. I guess I can convert this one. new strength and freedom, Shade. I'm gonna play this. I think I would rather play this. And just hope that he doesn't have much else going for him. You are prepared. All, All right, I'll take one. Um, always nice to uh, get a win in the in the Death Knight Mirror matchup, right? Where a malignant just kills you. Um, an entire game though, without any of our three cool legendaries. Let's see how Mr. Dreads is doing. Oh my God, where's Charles? Is he just high rolling here? of the ebon blade will not falter all right let's get rid of all this stuff and then what i guess i can ditch this try to find a different two maybe god i really don't have to tempo that card out hey mr flow notice me streamer man is someone injured oh yeah oh yeah um yeah thanks i notice you thank you for the tier one 28 months is a long time I don't want to give him a card draw. Boogie and Merc, good to see you guys. Iceberg, hey Cooper, what up? I have an ap appendix a problem. Oh, appendix? I was in the hospital? Oh no, what happened? Did it, it was like giving you problems? How do you know if you're, how do you know you need to go to the hospital? How does, how does that work? Um, I felt like stabbed in my belly. Did it just come suddenly or did it... I couldn't breathe and I couldn't move. Did, but like, did it like start and then it got worse and then you're like, oh fuck. Or was it just like immediately you're like, oh god, suddenly. Huh. It's terrifying. That scares me. Also, I'm going to this. Um. In life, In death, blood. Did you drive to the hospital, or did someone drive you? I, f I kind of am afraid of some of that type of stuff now that I'm getting older and I live by myself. I've never been in an ambulance. They gave me a serum, and it took me to a CT scan. Well, I'm glad you're getting the care you need. Hope things go well for you, Boogie. That's a rough bud. I live 300 meters away from hospital, so I made my way. Oh, well that's good. I'll drive you to the hospital. 
I should probably move out of this area of the world, if for nothing else, than to have the ability to have someone take me to the hospital. <laughs> One more death can't hurt. That seems important. Positive. Darkness I will learn in a couple of hours if they're going to remove it. Come to Atlanta. You'd like it. Do you think I would? Maybe. I've never been to Atlanta. Let's see what pictures of Atlanta look like. And close enough. Oh wow, that looks pretty nice. All oh, the cars are going so fast in these images. They're just literal blurs. Darkness button. Darkness button. Uh, what am I doing? Playing a four? The dark path is my destiny. I don't know, maybe Kel'Thuzad next turn? I saw a guy holding a sign in Atlanta which reads, Real. He's not even asking for money. Just holding a sign. <laughs> well, maybe he, was, he figured you would be more likely to give him money if he wasn't asking for money. Maybe it's just a statement. It could just be a statement. Maybe he's just not looking to get anything. We got a little bit of everything here. City, mountains, coast, if you want to go that far. You know, I think Oregon has that too. And so did California. I kinda hate the coast, I kinda hate the mountains. The city's okay. The streets are not safe! I have things you never knew you wanted. Um sure. For the master. Sure. Also, in hospital overnight, I saw an inmate. He was escorted by wardens. Oh no. Be careful, he might use you as... as a plaything. It's not so bad. Uh, two games in, our opponents have cast more of our... more legendaries, more of our legendaries than we have. I'll take it, though. What the mountains do? Do you red? They're nice. No, they're okay. I don't want to climb to the very top of one. And uh, oftentimes, like, snakes live in them. But yeah, mountains are alright. That's a good point. They ain't never did nothing to me. Uh, who was that following? Uh, X Quint. Thank you, Quint. What do snakes do to you? They can bite you. They can constrict you. And uh, frankly, I'm not a big fan of that behavior. Not unless it's between two consenting adults in the throes of passion. Uh, we did not make it there, we did not make it there. The knights of the Ebon Blade will not falter. Somewhere around here. How does this song go? Uh sure. Um, well, I want my legendaries, but maybe I could even keep the possessive fire. I don't want to start with a seven drop weapon here. They eat bugs, do they? I thought they eat like rodents and stuff. I want to be close to you in case I have to take you to the hospital, that's all. That wouldn't be so bad. I feel like I wouldn't make it in prison due to fighting with everyone. Until I see a snake, I was afraid. When I saw in real life, it wasn't that scary. It wasn't a rattlesnake though, just a classic just green snake. <laughs> I think you would do great in prison, personally. I think you would do great, Boogie. You, you would be the bell of the ball. Okay, all right. We could be a real power couple and show Dexter who's boss. Wait, are we dating now in this hypothetical? I kind of like the part where you just drove me to the hospital. Oh my God. Spilled a lot of water. Classic green snake, you held hands during the drive. To the hospital? That's good. I would want someone to hold my hand while driving me to the hospital. Well, actually, maybe they put their hands on the wheel. In my youth, I was known to hike a mountain or two, but I haven't peaked to summit in seven years. You were probably doing a great job. You wanna play a 3-1? I could play a 3-2 and just play them both. 
I mean, it's better for trading if he's just playing like a 4-5 or a 5-5 or something. Friendship is a partnership. I think so, yeah. You kiss him on the lips as a thank you for driving. We'll get you back I mean, if that's feet. customary in Atlanta, then I really wouldn't have a choice. Wouldn't I not have a choice? <sighs> what the fuck? Penguin. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, it's a full clear. The humidity sucks, though. Were you born in Atlanta and raised, or did you have, have you moved there? Kill my guy. Some would say, incredibly rude. No, I was born in Buffalo. So what brought you to Atlanta? And how long have you been there? And are you ever gonna move away from there? You know, I think I just want to put stuff. Well, you know what? I, I don't want this to get eaten. Remorseless is good. Um, let's just do this. Buffalo is close to me. I'm in Toronto, man's. Boogie, is anybody with you at the hospital? I know you traveled far away to, to be in Toronto. I'd be scared to be there all by myself. I'm alone. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. Sound bad. I'm a lone wolf. What about the gal that you kissed uh, in Paris? I'm a lone wolf like Canadian <laughs> black wolf. Are you in pain right now, by the way? Or did they like give you medicine or did it go away? A little bit, okay. Darian Mogreen versus Malfurion. The knights of the Ebon Blade will not falter. Wait, this is a dental office. Wait, I thought I was close. Uh, what do I do? Probably ditch that. Um, man, it's so powerful. I I'm gonna keep it, but maybe that's wrong. Job's done. Be swift. Uh, shit. Merriest of winter veils to you. The sea floor be its own treasure. Uh, guess I'm shooting that. Me not shady. No power and play the three. I guess I we just play this one. You never knew you wanted. Corpse explosion. Yeah, maybe. Maybe against a druid. Well, this place isn't all that close to me. The scourge will devour all. Oh, this one is. Whatever that is. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. I can trade and play that. I guess that's all I can really do. I guess I can play this, but this seems better. Alright, I'm going back to reading. Uh, that's kind of close to me, too. Uh, Tullius, thank you for the prime. Tullius, exhibit, good to see you. I'm waiting if they're going to do surgery. If not, I'm going to use antibiotics. Gotcha. I got a job with Coke. And that brought me to Atlanta, gotcha. Been to the hospital a few times and almost prefer to be alone. Otherwise, I feel bad for people just sitting there worrying. That's fair. That kind of makes sense. No spells next turn. I see. Okay. Are oh, the sounds running? Oh, crap. Sorry. Um, hold on. Nobody use any manage rewards. No, Nobody do any sound effects. I'm going to pay out those other ones. Manage. Oh, review the cube. Hello? Here's the cube. Um. 
Yeah, don't do it, because I'm not going to be able to pay him back if you're doing it. Gesticulate, can you pay those back? Is that possible? It's not letting me. If not, I'll have to find some other... I wonder... None of this stuff is dying. In life, must interrupt. In death. You had one job. I can, I can, I can turn them on. But can we pay those back before? Because then, if I pay them back, then I won't. It won't. It's gonna mess things up. Can bl can't blame Taz this time. No, no, this is my fault. But it's not. I don't know why the request queue is not. Oh, oh, now it's open. Okay, never mind. Dreads. Oh my God. I haven't cleared them. Nobody do them for a second. Please. I wonder. Huh? I paid them both back. Oh, thank you. I don't. I was like, I don't see them in here. Uh, what am I doing? Corpsing? I really can't corpse yet. I wonder. Six. I guess this lets me kill this thing. I'm gonna turn them on. Be positive. Uh, how do I do that? Click this. Downloads. Click this. Open this. Click this. Right, here's a free one. I think. And then... <laughs> Alright, there you go. We're all even now, right? And then people got their points back, too. Uh, where the hell did my board go? What tarnation is going on here? Doesn't seem that good. Maybe I just want to actually draw cards this turn. One more death can't hurt. Except we're both drawing cards. Whenever you summon an undead, I guess I could hold that one, huh? If he got the buff, I guess I'd play him. I'm kidding, because clearly you have 23 jobs while you do the arena. I only have one job. Win. The game Or else. For a master oh, that's not good for me. Not in the slightest. How do I ever come back from that? Uh... And they're close enough. Lend me your bones! Um, hello Snapbeard, what's up Dexter? Dexter, is that new guy good? That makes your uh, board costs cost less? Alexandros Morgrain, okay, coming up. Is there a patch tomorrow or today or something? Was there a patch today? Was there a patch today? I did a, uh, my quest and I was whooping everybody. They put me back to rank 70, I was, I was loving it. Uh, that's problematic. Hmm. I just use the corpses here? I guess I... Guess I do. Alexandra... Mograine. Those are beasts. The patch is delayed a week. Something went wrong in testing. They decided to delay a week rather than blizzarding the release. <laughs> you mean they didn't want to just release it anyway and just break everything? Is this card cut game gonna ever even work? Or is it ever gonna... Uh, how are they gonna find any success if they don't just push things through without testing them? I, I wish consider. Kel'Thuzad cost 5. Watch Dexter every time he streams. I don't know how Snap works, so I don't say much. Yeah, he's been playing a lot of Snap. Oh god. Right, I think we're screwed. I think we're screwed. I'm watching for his dashing good looks and his amazing chair content. Yeah, he's got great looks. He's so handsome. He's so erotic.
fleshy behemoth. Um, sure, whatever, we'll play it out. It's not good for me. Finally, a mod who's willing to work for his peanuts. He, he, he played a 1919 in stats that turn. Yeah, that was good for him. He's had a couple of good ones. Didn't you spend all your mana and corpses clearing his board? Why is his board larger than before? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I was wondering the same thing myself. It's a jawline. It really gets me going. When his face cam is slightly to the side, he does have kind of like a slightly to the side profile. I mean, we're 3-0. It makes sense that we should queue into some unbeatable decks at this point, right? It is in death that we are truly tested. The Lich King. Your, your light fades. In death. The time has come for your rest. Oh. Oh. he oh my god, did we win? <laughs> Did we win? It's possible to get a cam to the front with a high quality cam. Mograine, yeah, sorry. Bad idea. The king's won? Wow. Wow. Let's go look at the scores. Hopefully we won like 7-2. to two. Scored a lot of goals. Man, that Tage Thompson, he's pretty good at hockey too all of a sudden. Uh, the last couple of years. Me too. Uh, Duris, thank you for the prime. Right, Duris. Am I enjoying this video game? Mm, not a ton. Will you um, just let me play uh, Marvel Snap with you? Can you can you carry me to new heights? Uh, Adrian Kempe scored. Delardi and Kevin Piala. Kopitar had a goal. Cool. Let's see Kopitar's goal. Is it cool looking? Stars have the best record in the league when they're winning after two, and the best record in the league when trailing after two, but they're five and nine when tied after two now. That's weird. That's odd. Every team has to be bad at something. Uh, Duris, thank you for the prime, and Starzy, thank you for the gifted sub. It doesn't kill my guy. And I kind of need my guy to die so I can play that. Yeah, Arena's... Like, when you get a good deck, I think right now it's fun. But you just uh, don't often get good decks. Um, and then when you get a good deck and you lose to uh, Malignant Horror, it feels really bad, I think. Because your good decks are pretty um, infrequent. But when you can avoid, you know, both of those circumstances, then I do think it's fun still. Just ideally, you know. You're having more fun, more fun, more often than that, I think. We shall play Overwatch 2 instead. No, Dexter will never play with us again, he said. He vowed to never play with us. Which I thought kind of sucked because it was amongst the happiest memories of my life. Playing video games with my friend. But he said that we were the worst team that he had ever been a part of, and that he didn't want to play with us. <laughs> why, Dexter, why? All right, we got a game plan now. Go face, kill him. Let's look at a hero-powered one of those, actually. That would have been smarter. Hey, KBB. I'll match you. Um, look what I bought. Don't, uh, don't judge me. Counting it as a Christmas present to myself. I like fun card games, me too. They're some of my favorites. What the fuck? Look what I bought. So he started playing Magic. No, he started playing his beloved Marvel Snap. Uh, is that an undead? No. Is this enough to kill him? Yes. Why? Yes, it is. Marvel Snap is lame. I think Marvel Snap has a lot of flaws as well. But it's new, and they have a team with a good track record of making good things. 
that Hearthstone has the opposite problem. It's old and has a team that's relatively new and does not have a great track record the last year or two. I think the biggest flaw is the Predatory Store. I had a lot of hope for it. It, it does feel like you, you very quickly accumulate cards and it feels good, and then you get stuck in this spot where you're, you, you can't accumulate many cards. You can't accumulate the cards you necessarily want or need. And that, I think, idea works a lot better Like as a, a newer player. It's almost like you kind of get punished for being good at that game. It's like it, it almost incentivizes you to, to spend a ton of money or be extremely casual. Like, I don't know. Is that, is that like you understand? Merriest of winter veils to you. Merriest Arsenal's kind of the opposite. You start out, you have no resources, but then after a few months of playing, you can kind of do whatever you want. I don't know if you can if you don't play Arena, man. Hearthstone's very expensive, too. I'm so sorry. About to sneeze. It didn't come out. Death does not scare me. Care about we Mograines aren't known for restraint. Death hurt. What if I pull Kelthazud? What if I pull Flesh Behemoth? What if I pull Battlemaster? The constant nerfs help with that. After a couple months, you have a pretty yeah. consistent stream of dust coming in every few weeks. <clears throat> Do you though? Find new strength in freedom, shade. I have not particularly felt that. And again, I also don't Pay that much attention. It's just better a two five or a two four. I can coin out threes next turn. I but then I can't play the Nerubian. But maybe I don't even coin, and maybe I'm killing this. You'll get a body bagger, and you're gonna like it. Oh man. I don't know. I feel like I'll sometimes on the, the, the like have a have a bundle and open, and and I'll have like four legendaries. And like not all the epics, and it's like well you just spent sixty dollars, and sometimes it feels like you can't even make a deck. <sighs> How do I deal two? I guess that deals two. And I get a minion, right? Spiral. Speak your peace. All is not lost yet. I don't know. I often play on new accounts because I enjoy the free to play to legend challenges. I get two to three thousand dust after a nerf. It's not enough to buy a real expensive deck, but you can always find a tier one deck if you're smart. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I just don't have any experience with it. it just feels like even if you spend sixty dollars on expansion launch day, like you can't make a meta deck. You have to spend more than sixty dollars. I will purify. Uh, I am the fox. Thank you, fox. Sorry, I manifested that pull. It's funny because before you mentioned body bagger, I was I was kind of thinking. No kappa. I was kind of thinking All is not lost that I would get um, oh, we'll I would get that card. But now it seems like, you know, I'm just saying that, but I was thinking I'll probably get our Acur Acarus Veteran. Is that what it's called? I roll in the sense that you got an extreme result. Yeah, in that regard. That's kind of fair. So that shoots me for, yeah, four, okay. Trades there, I try. Do this? Is this seven? Okay, seven. Okay, so let's do this, and this, and this. Akurus. Akurus? Akurus? Is this stream live? I feel like I'm being broadcast reruns where all the games are the same. <laughs> hey, come on, you don't always lose to this card. Well, you do, but you don't always see it. Find new strength in freedom, shade. Mm. I need to kill this. I don't really want to trade that. I could play a five and a three. This thing seems to match up reasonably well. And I guess I'll do this. I should have done this first. 
Uh, Frost Strike seems good, and I guess I'll just kill this one. Because I'm afraid of it. What did he do? Oh, that's not so bad. It's good to hit all of those for us. Uh, oh, I would break that as well, I think. Which of you the Oilers? Fuck them. I am not overtly a huge fan of the Oilers, no. Um, I hate that they got so many first overall picks. One more death can't hurt. But half of them are gone, or more than half of them, right? I'm watching a Kopitar pull. I had it queued up. Nice little tippy poo. So what am I doing here? I guess I want to play this. I can trade and trade and taunt. Dallas can lose so long as Edmonton loses. I have a bunch of bets with my Oilers funny friends on season ending position. I really think that idiot that they have running their team is about to get canned. Who's in, who's their GM these days? That's what you want us to think. I know you're capitalizing on royalties and had this exact game last week. Darian Mograin versus Malfurion. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will not falter. Uh, I probably don't want to keep that. Ken Holland? Oh, Ken Holland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hasn't Ken Holland... Was he, is, wasn't he like, like the president of hockey operations or something? Wasn't... Didn't they have another GM before him? I mean, I'm sure they did, but... Didn't they have another horrible GM before him? Wasn't Peter Chiarelli or whatever, the, the, the Bruins guy that traded away uh, Tyler Sagan for nothing? Uh, I guess I, I might hit a buff on something else, right? Peter Chiarelli up to 2020 for the Oilers. You're making up words now. What are these names? These are people's names. He's really bad. He traded away Taylor Hall for nothing. Who did they trade Taylor Hall for? Do I play this? I have things you Give me the Scourge. How come I never get the Scourge anymore? Don't forget Moses Eras Masticio. Who's that? Oh, Adam Larson? Oh yeah, that was a bad trade. That's right. I thought we were making up names. Moses, I thought you were just, I thought you like looked up who their GM was in like 1932, maybe. Uh, should I just kill it? Ready to fight for a better future. Really develop anything. This is decent. The more you'll strap out. I like how this DK skin you're using is the same dull color scheme as the signature cards. When you look at the full art version, it has cool green glowy stuff too. You're just like, nah, let's go with the blue gray. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It does look like a signature card. Holy moly, it's Dexter Gaming. Are you writing me a letter? No, you never write back. I'm never writing you again. <laughs> no, sorry, my mom was messaging me. You never wrote her back, you never wrote me back. Yeah, Are you doing a second snap video? I'd be down. I know Dexter's very busy. No, he's very busy. He said, and I quote, too busy for my own friends. 
And I said, yeah, okay. Stinks. Those were priceless. You see Dreads' luck? It was so funny. Like me just having bad luck. Hey, I don't support that type of, you know. I don't support that. That's my friend you're talking about there. That's my friend. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. Those were priceless. Um, Those were priceless. Drink with me, friend. Should I play this? <sighs> oh, will Um. Drink with me, friend. I don't really know what I'm doing. Don't let up. You look like an amateur snow <laughs> snowboarder. Amateur? <laughs> it was too serious and not funny enough in the first one. You know, I, I feel like it would help me if I had a if I had your camera up. Because I feel like I'm like just staring at a blank screen. But maybe I could just put a picture of you up and just talk to it. You could even cut to it. You'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll be like, hey, look, I know you can't run the camera here. I put this picture of you and it could just be like a picture of you. And close enough. Gotta practice some sun glitter shrieks to drive in the clicks. I'm feeling very gassy all of a sudden. That's a two mana nine two. When did that happen? I have things you never knew you wanted. I'm gonna play that at some point. And Maybe next turn order. Yeah, he messed up the order big time, but we did good order. All right, red. For serious. When is the next plate up stream? I asked him to play today. I would have played today. Uh, what day is it today? I, I would, would try to get one to, um, this week. Hey, Aunt. We could try to play this week. I can see. Uh, Donnie, good to see you. Quote feet, Donnie, describe her feet, Red Beard, long, hairy, and bulbous. Kind of like a hobbit's foot. Oh yeah, I remember that gal. What a pair of, uh, what a pair of, uh, grape stompers she had. Darian Morgrain versus Jaina. You asked for it. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will not... Maybe think, did you take a gal for a while with a really unique musk? Uh, <laughs> No. No. I worked with a gal who had a, who had a, she had a lot of girl musk, and I think she had a crush on me, and it wasn't entire. oh, that's not, well, okay, it's not entirely off-putting. Um, when I was living on Hawaii, there was a gal that, like, she had a musk, but I don't know if we were really dating, we just hung out a little bit. How are your hemorrhoids doing, Red? Did I ever have hemorrhoids? I guess they're non-existent, so that's good. It's a hemorrhoid. I didn't know how to spell that, so I don't even want to show you guys what I just typed. Whoops. This doesn't look good. You know, I don't really particularly enjoy looking at these things. I'm gonna close that down. A blood vessel near the surface of the anus. Red always had hemorrhoids. I had them for a while. Incredible I saw his hemorrhoids. <laughs> no, you didn't. I saw your hemorrhoids though. Funny that you should mention that now. The truth can can finally come out. So me, my wife, and two kids have been reading The Hobbit every night before bed. Aren't your kids like 22 years old? Just like 10 pages. The font is small though. So I think it'll be done in 27 days. Aren't your kids really old? You get a nice butt donut when they visit ya. But donut 50-50. Hey, that's pretty good. They're five and nine, you dick. That's close to twenty-two. I didn't know they were so young. That's fun. 
My youngest son is about 30 now. It's crazy <laughs> how fast they grow. Blitz Freeman's 22 years old. Okay. You don't have a 30 year old son. Okay. Yes, I'm 22. Tell people that. How old are you, really? If you're under like 34, you're just like 20 to me. Song? This is called Intelligent Life by Prism. For now. My uh, my mom is watching the stream. I can tell because my my mom just told me you had a broken back last week, and now you got hemorrhoids. <laughs> Dear Lord, odd. You're affecting my mother's perception of reality. <laughs> hey, Mord, thanks for the prime. Thank you very much. She believes the the stuff you guys write. She thinks it's real life. Hi, Red's mom. Your mom rocks. She's a really kind lady. How's Marvel Snap going? They just reset and they put out a new patch thing or a new, uh, they put out a new, uh, thing. Whatchamacallit? This guy's bombing on me like Johnny Bombenstein. What the frick? Did I keep him alive? No. We need more mom packs. <laughs> no, no. My mom needs to save her money for retirement. Well, she's already retired. Super cool. Your mom is supportive of you streaming. Well, look up her. But it is nice that finally I won her over. I think I've I might have made it back into her top five favorite streamers. She really likes uh, Rania. She liked Dexter, but she doesn't like Dexter anymore. She likes dreads, but I think she just watches dreads for Cookie and Quinn, like the rest of us. The time has come for your reign to end. Dear Red's mom, you should convince Red to make an edge a dedicated make a blank of dedicated to Pokemon cards. What the hell? It's probably the fart sounds I got her. Probably. Probably that's true. I think you get 12 with stack, you only lose against a Giga Chad. You think so? We'll try to win, okay? But I think we need the malignants to go 12, probably. Let me have Dread sounds now, yeah, but we're getting more sounds to come back soon. Hit me with the Dexter voice, please. Ah, uh, Mr. Redbeard, Mr. Redbeard. Mr. Redbeard, I'm sorry I couldn't respond to your messages, Mr. Red. I've been very busy, Mr. Redbeard. They got me working in the coal mines again, Redbeard, Mr. Redbeard. Any Pokemon packs today? No. I walked um, half the way, but it was raining, and my chest was burning. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let me just get groceries. So I bought baby carrots and spinach and uh, chicken breast. I'm gonna try not to die, if possible. <sighs> so lame. What's a 12 in co-op draft with your mom? If she could ever figure out how to do, do a Discord call, we could get her on. Show the baby carrots, they're in the fridge. Oh, I also bought potatoes. I'm not really sure how to make them, but maybe I could just put them in like the microwave. Eventually they'll, they'll be edible, right? Gosh darn, Mr. Redbeard, we're to make the funny Marvel Comics poker video tutorial It's swell with the kids. Boil them. You can mash them. I was thinking about putting them in a stew, now that you mention it. <laughs> I don't know if that's an adequate idea. Potatoes are best raw. The last time I bought potatoes, I ate like one potato and then the next day I came back and they were just like covered in mold. Like they were just like moldy, they were like tennis balls. They were brown potatoes that had turned into green fuzz balls. So, not really sure how long a potato can last. Apparently, not long. One more can't hurt. Maybe we should have just converted him. That's good. Yeah. Oh, we should have played that. Yeah. 
The taters betrayed you. What taters, precious Donnie? Do you just bake them for an hour at 400 and see where you're at? <laughs> I don't understand this reference, but I, I would, I'm assuming it sounds like uh, something from Dexter time. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Hoss! Finds new strength in freedom, Shade. You could convert that one. And then he doesn't get the thing. Maybe that would have been better. Uh, thank you, Blitz, for the 100 bits. The streets are not safe! Uh, that is not a... Oh, hell. Hell's bells. I even shot the dog. Uh... I should have... Just traded with this one and left this at... What are we? Five? Four? Uh, sure. I don't understand the reference, but it's from Blitz Freeman, so I assume it's at least passable. Yeah, he's a funny dude. I think it's like a young person's reference, from what I can gather. Okay, you better trade off that 2-4. Okay, this is going not great for me. Only a triple legendary DK sucks to have the red redbeard low roll. I would trade everything in my deck. Okay, a couple things. One, I would trade everything in my deck, as you know, for a malignant horror, which I'm easily going to lose to here. And I think my opponents have cast more of my legendaries against me this run. And my Death Knight opponents have easily cast more legendaries than I have, and better ones too. Light Fang and Patrick. Better than my nothing. I wonder. So settle down now, Skippy. You That's you. Never knew you Remorseless Winter. Is uh, Howling Blast ever just better? Mm, curious. I don't know, actually. Uh... Swift. Maybe I could have cleared with the other one. And now I'm gonna lose to these anyway. God, I hate that card. I can be there. What does malignant malignant horror have to have reborn? It's insane. Yeah. You can never beat malignant unless you can kill both reborns on the same turn, and even then, a lot of times you'll just lose. Right? Good afternoon, Redbeard. On a scale of reds to red, how are the runs going? Oh, pure Redbeard. A lot of winning. It's there. In face. Getting another Reborn minion. But I can kill two Reborn minions now. Oh my god, do I ever get, um... Do I ever get one back? Probably not this turn. Can't do this and this. Hero power. I wonder. Okay. Whatever happens, these have to lose Reborn. And I didn't play that, so let's do this. I hope he draws a six mana spell that he can't cast. Isn't your birthday coming up? Yeah, January 11th. January 11th will be my birthday. Okay, now I get my Possessifier, and then I clear the Malignants once and for all. 111. Uh, okay, so I can kill them both. I can also chop one. I'm gonna get my own Malignant. I'm gonna trade too. I feel like he has a Scourge. Well, he has had one draw with an empty hand, so hopefully not. But maybe. Yeah. 
How's everyone in my third favorite chat? Wait, you're, we're your third favorite chat? Really? One more death can't hurt. Speak your peace. Um, I'm gonna swing too. Just getting on malignant school. Maybe I kill him next turn. I said hi to your mom, but she didn't say hi to me. Could you confirm? I've been disowned. Yes, yes. That year you didn't come to Thanksgiving dinner. How'd you win this? We'll see. If we did. But it looks like we might have a shot. It's my seventh favorite chat, according to my recap. My favorite streamer. Hell yeah. For the war, all life must That's a YouTube worthy comeback right there. Well, I know what Dreads was saying, and I, I agree with him to a large extent. You kind of need to have, um, it was a rough night. Oh no, that's not good. Muted Slayer, hope you have a great stream. Best of luck on your games. It's good to see you and everyone in chat. It's wonderful to see you, Muted Slayer. Yeah, Truly it is. Hey, yeah, we heard this yesterday. Zelda went crazy. He loves this song. will not falter. Okay, should I keep that? You know, the token druids seem to be the best, uh... Hey, Frosty Paw, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I think that's very cool of you. Oh god, I forgot to write back to an email. Happy Feast of Winter Vale. Rick. Reply? Reply. Board's gone. That's not good. Uh, who followed? Oh my God, El Elia Savaliolet. Wow, Alicia. Maybe Alicia. Alicia Violet. <laughs> Thank you, L. Hey, I got you. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you for the game before. Oh, is that you? Yeah, that was a crazy one. That was a crazy one. This is useful. I suppose this sort of has to be my play. I guess we're motivated to... clear the most power we can. That's the most cat and dog thing ever. I've streamed some before. I usually do talk shows and game shows. When they have them, I like to cover the awards and the reveals. Wow, really? I've never seen those. Those sound fun. I can be very persuasive. You are not welcome here. Um. Okay. All right. Would be a good draw here. Battlemaster if he doesn't kill my guy. Oh, uh, is Dreads here? Uh, Dreads, is it okay if we use those sounds? And I do mention to everybody they need to go follow your stream. If they're gonna spam it, everybody that... <laughs> everybody. Here, <laughs> my lawyer. <laughs> I, I begged them not to do this, but they just wouldn't listen. I'm doing it in this order because I want the buff to potentially land here. 
Um, could refresh crystals, actually. Oh, but I have to hero power. Okay, let's just play Frenzy. Hi, Dreads. Are you enjoying Hearthstone? Shame on you, Dexter. You want all your friends to not be enjoying Hearthstone. Times have been better. He knows that. He wants us all to go out, play Snap with him, and frankly, you know, he's probably right, but... That's why Dexter and I are doing a co-op Snap stream tomorrow at 4 in the morning. Six hours from now, he'll be up. I want them to enjoy Hearthstone! <laughs> no, you don't. You told me. Didn't you tell me? You wanted Dread specifically to be in complete and utter misery. Those were Snap is more fun right now. Yeah, I, I think like if you're just gonna play one for an hour or half an hour, I think Snap is more fun. I think it's kind of hard. Like once you've done your daily quest, once you've done your weekly quest, and you don't have like a viable deck, it doesn't feel super fun to grind Marvel Snap just like without like a purpose. I feel. What's the purpose of anything? That's a good point. That's a fair point. And, you know, I might not have the answer to that. I just feel like, snap, a lot of the times I'll play for 20 minutes, or 30 minutes, and especially once once I hit infinite rank every month now. Like, I just will not be able to be competitive without spending money. Which, you know, whatever, you know, don't spend money. Whatever. But like, I feel like I can't be competitive without spending money. And I can't like rotate to another deck because I, I don't, I can't, I don't have like one fully like fleshed out and viable deck a lot of the time. So how do I spend my mana the most effectively? If I do this, I have seven mana, which maybe means something like just shooting this, or I can do this and just kill that. Maybe that's better. I resummon all my crap. I could have the taunts up, but I guess I don't really need the taunts really if I'm killing that, right? I don't know what this card does. Choose an enemy minion, and then I just get like all my cards back or something. The purpose is to maximize your mischief, that's true. You don't want to be non-mischievous, god damn it. Do I have a frost spell in my deck? I do not. I wish he would stop drawing four seven taunts with divine shield. You know, I think I should have had an extra free attack. Missed the mega combo. You know, I wouldn't really consider that a mega combo, personally. And I think I should get some value off of buffing some undeads all the same. Stephen Hawking's two most popular books, The Purpose of Anything. Second rules. Wait, what? The hell did you say, Blitz? Giga combo. This is the greatest combo known to mankind. I can clear most of this board. I guess let's see what we pull first. In death, blood. And they're close enough. Mm, close enough. A willing death. I don't really know what we're doing here, to be honest with you. For the master. Constant the cold. Is it attack on a random one dead? Yeah. Now we play around uh, potentially BGH. So hero power's there, and then kills the 5 2. And then what? We draw Frostmourne. Kills the 1 2. That's, that's a bolt. 
So let's go here, 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 here. That didn't die? Oh, because he killed my one too. Duh. Level insane demon hunter shit I had to beat Death Knight last night? Let me tell you. Tell us all about it, Blitz. Tell us more. The good thing is we get to start today's stream with a good run. And it's already eaten up like an hour and a half of the stream. So what we need to do is go 12 with this one. And then roll another good deck and go 12 with that one. And then if we get a bad deck, it doesn't matter. Because we've already been on for five hours. Think about it, Blitz. This is my plan. Oh, Graham. Uh, I bought a single. Shall I I bought a single. Is Dreads here still? I I mean I opened this. If Dreads is watching, then I opened it. Finds new strength in freedom, Shade! But I need to know if they're here. The risk is calculated, but boy do we suck at math. Ooh. Side effects. No. 4, 8, 10, 13, 14, is it 15? Oh, I just heard him. <laughs> Strike. Strike this game went on for a very long time. Uh, this was the game we kept the heart strike in our opener, right? Had like an incredibly strong early game reactive hand. Otherwise, you just get run over by the lingering zombies and all that. I need Graham and I, or I need Dreads. And then I can show my purchase. Actually, I can show all of my... I bought a bundle of cards from one guy. I, I saw he had a listing and I was like, hey, would you be willing to sell me all of them for like a discount on all of them? Hey, it's Hatsune Miku again, playing Death Knight again. Dreads, has this person queued into you 17 times in the last four days? Because they've always queued into me with a golden Death Knight every time. And then one game, they destroyed their own minion when I had lethal. And it would have, they would have died if had their minion been alive. Third day in a row now? I think it's more than three. Better you than me. I'm gonna friend him. All right, I bought a, a promo Flareon. Discounted. I bought another one because I don't know. I really like the art. I think it's cool. I bought a Flareon. The sun has set for me. V Max. I bought a Vaporeon. I think you can see where this is going. No trash. Huh. Move the cards over your cards if it helps. It does. Psyduck reveal coming. Vaporeon. All right, Dreads and Graham. If Graham's still here, I uh, I didn't just said fuck it. He had them all. He had them all. Wow, we these are great. Wow, my beloved Sylveon is finally in my collection, and that's that's that. Uh, what am I doing with my turn here? This, maybe? I heard Hatsune Miku is a Dallas Stars fan. He's probably here for revenge. You think somebody whose name is Hatsune Miku sniping me every day with a uh, golden death knight is a, is a Dallas Stars fan? Maybe. Do you sell your special Pokemon cards? No. No, you never sell. You only buy. We like the Vaporeon a lot because it looks like a cool card and that's it. Yeah. This person's definitely a Dallas Stars fan. What is Hatsune Miku? That's like a, like a VTuber thing or something. Hatsune Miku? Musical artist. It's like a character from Genshin or something. <laughs> Just this Wikipedia. Description is so comical, it's kind of astounding. I have some really good news. I can beat the first Malignant by skipping my turn, <laughs> buffing it for him. Finds new strength 
in freedom, Shade. And I don't know what else to say. Hatsune Miku, also called Miku Hatsune, uh, officially codenamed CV01, is a Vocaloid software voice bank developed by Krypton Future Media and its official anthropomorphic mascot character. Blah blah blah. Anyway, it's just like, I must be old because I understand none of those words. Nothing. Wanna buff your charge and leap in with the two one ones? Two two ones? Well, cause then he wins a game, mostly. Then he gets an infinite number of those. He just plays a three four that gives it reborn again and then the game's over. The reality is, is this is somebody that queues into me every day and only plays against me with broken death knights. I think they retire their average death knights. So I'm not really super... I'm not really all that invested in participating because we're not playing a fair game here. A cute anime girl sings Japanese songs, but not actually a real girl. Only computer that is smart. <laughs> See, now those words, I, I understand half of those. Someone had to inherit the sniper guild? Yeah, it's a burden that it, it seems like. I heard people in chat saying, you know, they went after the best player before in Crip, and once Crip retired, they naturally went after the second best player. Dreads was kind of speculating, was it him? Well, I think it's pretty clear at this point, no, it was not. It's basically a voice board that producers use to make songs with her voice, and she's an anime mascot. Yeah, yeah, I get some of those words. I can be too. very persuasive. The streets are not safe. I guess I killed one too. Because it makes it harder to ping, I suppose. Yes, Miku is not something that happened in the 80s, Red. I know that. Blitz. We didn't have hypercopaloid vocoder cryptoid developed androids in the 80s. We tried. We failed. And we'll try again. One, two, three. I guess I could start here. Speak your peace. You had max headroom. We did. We had so much headroom in the 80s. Um, assassin. Thank you, Assassin, for the follow. What a wholesome name. Wouldn't it be cool if accountability could exist for people like this? How would you hold them accountable? Would you, um, smash their computer to literal smithereens? So I'm starting to think that might be a viable option. Strike! Everybody had lots of headroom in the 80s. Yep, we did. There's deep anime insider info in Red's chat. I wonder if the Hatsune character has agents that turn on us at the utterance of some code word. Yeah, code word COV1 or whatever, maybe. And it all turns around. Let's go with three, or five, six, seven. Let me guarantee the buff on something that has more than one health this way. Crystal's my friend list, and I have zero clue how they got there. They were on my friends list too. And I have zero clue how they got there as well. Actually, that's kind of a interesting thing to think upon. Oh. Okay. Could have drawn a bit better. Perfectly average play by your opponent. Yeah, again, this is not like... Oh, huh. Maybe they're sniping. This is somebody skewed into us. More times than I would like. 
multiple times a day with only One death knights, and their death knights are always broken. Hi Red, how are you doing? Oh, I'm very tilted. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> no, I'm not very tilted. Say hi, Miku. Yeah. We've actually beaten them a lot. I don't think they're a very good player. I think they retire every deck until they get a broken death knight. And they have an advantage of knowing the other player's entire deck and all of their plays and whatnot. Is Blizzard itself sniping you? <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. How do they draw that well? I don't know. I was really hoping we would top deck a Pandaren though. Darian, Morgrave, that would have felt better. And then killed them with the spell we just got. Hatsune Miku gifting 10 subs. Hey, you know what? Snipe me every day and also give 10 subs. That would be better. Hey, could you not do that? Could you just do the sub gifting part? Is that possible? Or is this a different person that just changed their name to Hatsune Miku? I'm not sniping. Okay. Okay. They weren't sniping? All right, well, I'm gonna trust them on that then. I trust people who give 10 subs after beating me with their decks. I'm more inclined to. Apologize to them? Me? Well, if they weren't sniping, then they didn't hear me calling them sniper. <laughs> Look, and you know, if they're gonna come in and not, you know, independent of getting gifted subs and like, you know, whatever, say they're not sniping. I mean, that's more than a lot of people who actually are sniping do, so there's that. But thank you for the for the gifted subs and you know, I'll take you at your word for it. And uh if that's the case, then... So are you retiring every non-Death Knight deck that doesn't have a Ysera and f five Malignant Horrors? Because I've played you, I think, six times in three days and every deck has been the same. Jojo Siwa. Okay, so this isn't the real Hatsune M Sniper, or what's going on? I'm just confused. I must I'll just... I'll just... Stop thinking about it until someone explains it to me very clearly. I think all DK runs and any other broken deck. Hit one, bump one, kill one. And No, Jojo's been around ages. He changed his Twitch name on Battle.net, I guess. I remember Jojo. I remember Jojo being Jojo, like yesterday. For the Lich King! But I am adamant about it. If more people want to snipe me and then give 10 subs, or not snipe me, but... If people want to snipe me and then give 10 subs, I will much... I'll be much more... more I'll be much happier with those... Particular snipes. <laughs> and I guess we've established that this was not a snipe. I'm a fifth rate duelist. Is that a high score or a low score for a dueler? What song is this? I remember. This is called Green Skies by Zane Alexander. I really like this track. Pretty profitable if all you have to deal with is some subs. Yeah. Now, in, in JoJo or Hatsune's defense, most of the people that do snipe you don't also give subs. So, you know, usually, those are usually not the same people that are, are uh, supporting you. So I'm gonna start here. Perhaps not the best sequence of draws. 
Is the funky cold Medina on this playlist? Is that a song? Um, what's the thing called? Millhouse is what we're doing. Uh, sets, legacy, mill. Did he sub to you the other 17 times he played you in the last four days? <laughs> no. Alright, let's try to get another win. Ten's good though. No wonder he hasn't been playing against Dreads. Dreads hasn't got this many wins. <laughs> yeah, we have been winning a lot. That's true. We've been going like 12 0. 12, 12 wins with the, basically all of our decks. <laughs> look, and look, the meta. I got it. So I'm gonna. The meta's tough. It's very unforgiving. Right? You get a lot of arbitrary losses to, to Malignant and all that, right? And, uh, you know, Dredge is a very talented player and he's my friend. And I, I want to preface this whole statement with that. But I was watching him today and he's like, ooh, I went through your VOD and you kept going three and three. Which actually, we were kind of just getting smoked yesterday, you know? I'm just here minding my own business. And uh, then all of his runs were going, he was like, I've won one game in my last 11. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe three and three is pretty good. <laughs> maybe I'm happy going three and three sometimes. The alternative is, uh, Sometimes the runs go less than three. You should ask us for real money for these high tier voice acting examples. <laughs> I should. If I thought I could, I probably would. Yeah. Now again, Dreads plays 100 runs. I play 100 runs. Talriel plays 100 runs. Like, you know, Tal's probably gonna have the highest score of anyone. Dreads probably gonna have the second highest score. I'm probably gonna have the third highest score. And all three of us are probably gonna have higher scores than most people. <laughs> I'm just saying, and the telling of the story. I'm getting shit on for going three and three. Well, the guy's one and three. Can you view your win rate versus Miku? I don't track my runs. I think it's possible, but I just don't do it. Challenge accepted. Um, do I want the two two on the board now? I guess I do, right? And I guess I'd rather the two two have a buff, if possible, right? After 100 runs, it's a real toss-up between me and Dreads. Who wins highest blood pressure? I think I could win out, but I'm not sure. No. Blood pressure's gonna be really low. What I disliked the most about that was how it was the worst hit for me. One more death can't hurt. Darkness beckons! I got a lot of cards. There's some value in that, right? My favorite part of the Redbeard card imitation redeem is after the imitation is done, Red slowly turns to Chadnas. How was that? Knowing damn well he knocked it out of the park. He's baiting for compliments on something he clearly excels at. It's sometimes a little weird. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm good at that. But hey, you know, if you guys enjoy it, that's what's most important. You guys feel like it's providing some value? Some entertainment, then cool. Can I get an order, Lul, in chat, please? Why did I do it in that order? Why did I draw the most punishing card for my misplay? Who do I have to thank for this? None other than myself. Thanks a lot, Redbeard. You really fucked up. It's fine. Relatively speaking, fine. How are you, Lyra? Good to see you. God, that was plus six damage. Okay, can't kill that yet. Or can I? I have things you never knew you wanted. I swear, I have never rolled the Scourge, ever. Blood Broil seems kind of bad. What about buffing stuff in my hand this turn? I kind of can't do it this turn. Four, five. So I'm gonna play these two. I guess I could do it next turn. I could take Plague Strike too, but I think, uh, huh. Tap with a one, three seems hot. I could get them out both, both this Ready turn, I'd be more inclined. 
I guess it's probably better to hold it because it's another plus two, plus two, right? Could could um, trade the the rust rod, but I might get a spell or a weapon or something. I might get like a hard strike, and that'd be pretty bad. Okay, that's bad for me. Oh yes, please do that. I can't be right. Uh, Battle Master would be cool. Alright, so let's do this first. Let's do this. Shoot man. Trade him. Am I just trading this off? I think I'd like to hold it. I guess I could trade one more taunt off. Upgrade my guy. So it gives it plus one, plus two, and kills a taunt. Oh my god, I needed that last turn. 5, 8, okay, let's go here. I hope we can kill him next turn. I got my farts. Oh yeah, where's Taz? The streets are not safe. Um, alright. Can I kill him? Might just kill him here. He, no, I don't kill him. Oh, that's not an undead. That's a 7 6. Too late, horror? It wasn't buffed by a sky at least. Oh god, did I have lethal? Maybe. You did? Did we? Not sure if we did. Transform his taunt? Yeah, you can't transform his taunt because it's not an undead. You had lethal if you didn't order a little a few turns ago? Well, that's different, right? The game plays out very differently from there. Kills my guy. Oh, so he lost the 50-50. But then now we'll win the game because... Oh, no, 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 he doesn't. Because he did that. Um, but he would have... He would have not created... He would have not got that, but it was on the wrong one, right? So he had to convert his guy there, which was a good play. Us rolling this was a high roll, but I think we would have been okay with just the Kel'Thuzad, right? We transform one, we trade in the other, and then we... And then we, um... Just push one. You really stuck to that guy with your flesh behemoth. Uh, the kind and benevolent Hatsune Miku, gifter of 11, uh, 10 subs, and um, <clears throat> their Ysera Death Knight, and then we lost to another Death Knight with Malignant Horrors. So. Do your best, Stinky, I'm trying, Refugee Geek. Did you see our latest YouTube video? It's just going crazy, like going, people are going hog wild for it. I don't know what the deal is, but those YouTube videos are they're, they're really popping off. Last one got close to a million views. Maybe it's the shorts. Maybe it's... Oh god, I was playing a Ysera Death Knight? Oops. Everybody go check that out. Hit the like button. I'm gonna go respond to the comments during this game, as I typically do during all of our 12 win runs. Mm. Redbeard used Intimidate. He hurt himself in the confusion. Ow. My aching bones. What the hell are you talking about? What are you doing? What now? I'm gonna make a highlight video from the 2022 clips today. Oh my god, what the hell? Do you think it's because of how crazy everybody's going for the YouTube that that might seem like a, like a lucrative deal? Speak your peace. I could put it on here. 
Then I might be able to get the buff. And it has rush anyway. Maybe that's better. Um, Twenty twenty two clips, low lights. Low lights or low lives? You're just calling us a bunch of uh good for nothing low lives. Do I even need the buff? I guess I do. I mean I don't need it. I could play this, I don't want to. I could play this. Maybe this is the time to play it while he can't he wants to ping everything, right? Maybe he doesn't have like a shooting star or like a remorseless winter, that type of effect. Have you ever used Professor X in Snap? Uh, no. I don't like him. But people use him against me sometimes and he seems okay. He seems okay. Do you have any questions about him? Because I know what he does. He really doesn't have a shooting star? No, not a shooting star, but you know what I mean. Like a shooting star type of effect. Some crap that pisses Redbeard off, basically. Uh, Scourge. We might lose, but I don't care. Um, Army of the Darkness or something? Army of the Dead? That was a good card, too. Ain't luck if you call it. You just have to ask. I was looking at making a new deck. Oh, okay. I didn't know how to play him. Um, I'm not sure either, but I mean, conceptually, he's the type of card that, um... That is not a good draw. Ready to fight for a better future. Oh. Hope prevails. Uh. He, he, you know, he locks down the board, so... What does he do? Yeah, like to guarantee one spot, but you can maybe use him in combination with like Spider-Man, maybe? Juggernaut type cards, uh, arrow, like cards like that isolate one location and then can kind of guide your opponent's um, units to another location where they might not necessarily want their stuff. I, I don't like those five drops. He's a five, right? They have really low power. Like I'd rather just run arrow, I feel like. But that's sort of the cool thing about snap, especially when you're running like a bunch of techie cards like that. You can, you can kind of just, I mean, sometimes like you just want to have a Cosmo or an Enchantress in your deck. And sometimes you're not, you're not running them. You're just running like a hyper synergistic deck and you just lose because somebody has a Wong and a Odin and a whatever, like some combo and you can't interact with it. So a card like Professor X can kind of go in any deck. I feel like you're just like, oh, like okay, you can see what my opponent's doing. I'm going to stop them from doing it on this turn. The thing is, uh, that new card that came out is, um... won't die. Let's do this. Um, a new card that came out is a 3 drop that incentivizes people to play 2 4 drops like the following turn or, or like multiple 4 drops. So it might be harder to like lock up one location. I saw everybody playing that today. Rhythm of the Night playlist reminder. Oh fuck me. Oh fuck. Ooh, him swinging the weapon face is actually kind of good for us. This is always going to do two, but now it doesn't kill a minion, right? Uh, I might be dead on board, though. But we have one line and one line only. So I'm trying to save it to the... Hmm. Curious. Break the master's chains! Join us! I don't hear the sound of taunt minions. I'll go another way. Yeah, I haven't really used him myself. I told my buddy Cosmo looking like you and he got offended. <laughs> I think Moon Girl copying fours is going to be a problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, Abumi. Thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, thanks to anybody that caught that. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit the like, the follow, the subscribe. And, uh... Slow roll for us? I mean... Either way.